All right, let's get started. So before we start the lesson, let's make sure that we have Sublime Text installed and also Google Chrome installed. Sublime Text is basically a text editor um, that makes editing our code much, much easier. And Google Chrome is a web browser that allows developers to use tools when uh, creating websites. So once you've got that installed, let's first create a new folder on our desktop. And let's name this resume, uh, okay, get info. And let's name this resume website, okay. Now inside this file or folder, let's create, um, let's create a new HTML file. So the way we do this is we open up Sublime Text, we click uh, Control S or Command S if you're on a Mac, and let's navigate to the folder that we just created. And inside this folder, we're going to create a file called index.html. Okay, so notice this .html. This basically means that this file is going to be saved as an HTML file. Okay, so let's click save, and boom, we've got our first HTML file. Okay, great. So inside this HTML file, we're gonna put in a bunch of text and make it into a web page. So the first thing we have to do is type in, uh, or let the file know that it's an HTML document. So the way we do this is we type in this. Okay, so notice we have this less than sign and this greater sign, greater than sign, and then inside it we have HTML. Okay, and then here we have the less than, greater than, and then we have this backslash. So in HTML, uh, these are called tags. And basically, um, there's a bunch of different tags. There's one for creating paragraphs, there's one for creating headers, there's a bunch of tags. But tags are usually, or they're always, created with this left than sign and then this greater than sign. Okay, the next thing we have to do is create a head. So just like a human body, an HTML document contains a head and it also contains a body. Okay, so inside this body, this is where all of our text is gonna be uh, contained. And inside this head, this is where all the information about the HTML document is going to be stored. But let's not worry about that right now. Um, let's just worry about um, launching the first version of our website. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in less than h1 and then greater than. And then we're going to write my name. So my name is Takahiro Mori. And then I'm going to close it like this. So in HTML, as you can see, there's always an opening tag and a closing tag. Again, opening, closing opening, closing, opening, and closing. So just remember that in HTML, whenever there's an opening tag, then you have to close it. And the way you close it is with this backslash. Okay, so I'm gonna save this file, and then I'm going to right click and click on Open in Browser. Now click on this, and I see Takehiro Mori. Okay, great, so this is our first website. Don't worry, we're gonna make it beautiful in just a few minutes. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna write uh, a short uh, description of who we are. So I'm gonna write co-founder at TechRise and then maybe Ruby on Rails developer. Now again, I close the H5. So H1 is header one, H5 is header five. The difference is usually between uh, the font sizes. So as you can see, at H5, it's much smaller than H1. Okay, now let's put in some other text, a uh, little bit longer uh, description of who we are. Okay, so again, opening P and closing P. So P stands for paragraph. Okay, so now we're making a new paragraph. So inside this, I'm going to write, um, my passion is in teaching uh, how to, or teaching people how to create awesome web applications. Okay, I saved this file, so you can click Control S or Command S if you're on a Mac, 
Uh, and then let's refresh this page and boom, we have a new paragraph. Okay, so as you can see, HTML, um, it's pretty easy. There's an opening tag, closing tag, right? Opening tag, closing tag. And then inside the HTML document, there's always a head and the head contains the information about the HTML. So we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna talk about this in a little bit. The body contains all of the content of the HTML file. So in this case, this, this is all in the body, okay? This H1, right? So this H1 tag produced this uh, little bit big text. H5 produced this smaller text, but it's a little bit bold. And then this paragraph produced this text.